Hi, Gahiko Gatos. So second grade is learning about arrays and I just wanted to do this read aloud on Hooray Arrays on Reading A to Z. It was written by Jason Powell and illustrated by Penny Carter. Miss Lane gathered her class around her. I have a wonderful new idea, she announced. Today, we will get ready for our class play. Each one of you will be stars in it. So your adoring fans in the audience must be able to see you. What is our play about? Asked one of the students. I don't know yet, Mrs. Lane said. The important thing to remember is that the lights will shine on you. People will clap for you. You will all bow and bow again. Miss Lane smiled at all of her students. It's time to go to the auditorium, she said. We need to practice our bows. A student named Tanya spoke up. Can you tell us now what our play will be about? She asked. Let's just focus on practicing our bows for now, said Miss Lane. People are going to just love seeing all of you. They will clap loudly when you bow. Now we must practice, said Miss Lane. She began counting the students. There are 20 of you, she said. Please line up in two rows. I need the same number of children in each row. I'll show you a picture of how you should line up. There, uh, there you are in two rows, said Miss Lane. How many are in each row? We need equal numbers. A student named Ken spoke up. There are 10 of us in each row, he said. Two rows, 10 kids. Two times 10 is 20, 20 kids in all. Hooray, said Miss Lane. You have made an array. An array shows people or things arranged in rows and columns. I will look, oh, I'm sorry. I will stand back to see how you look. The children stood still so their teacher could get a good look. They all wondered when Miss Lane would move on to practicing their play. No, 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 it's all wrong, Miss Lane said. No one will clap for us if we line up like that. There are just too many children in each row to count them easily. Let's try 10 rows, said Miss Lane. I will make a picture to show you. Hooray, cried Miss Lane. Another array, but this one will never work. I can count the number of kids in each row. One, two, one, two. Ten times two is twenty, but most of you are hidden, she exclaimed. Your families will be very unhappy if they can't see you. Miss Lane slowly walked back to the stage. Too many rows she said. Ten rows are just too many. The school bell rang. It was time to go home. We'll have to think about this some more tomorrow, said Mrs. Lane. The next day, the children practiced their bows again, but they still had not practiced their play. Tanya had an idea. We could get into three rows, she said. Excellent idea, cried Miss Lane. Hooray, another array. 20 children, three rows. I'll draw a picture to show you how to line up. The children lined up. Miss Lane said, three rows, six children in each row. Three times six is 18. That leaves two children who are not in any row at all. This won't work either. Ken said, Miss Lane, 20 students can't form three rows with an equal number in each row. Maybe the two extra students can just stand in the back of the three rows. No, that won't do at all, said Miss Lane. There are no extra students in my class. Every student is needed for our play. How about trying something else, asked Tanya. Miss Lane, could you stand in the middle of the first row like this? She showed Miss Lane where to stand. 
the extra kids will join two and three, said Tanya. Please don't call them extra, said Miss Lane. There will be no one extra in our array. But now we have three rows with the same number of people in each row, said Tanya. Thank you for asking me to share the stage with you, said Miss Lane. But I can't steal my 20 students' moments in the spotlight. We'll have to think about this some more tomorrow, said Miss Lane. The next day, the children hoped they would get to practice their play. But once again, Miss Lane had them practice their bows. How about this? Ken said. We could try four rows. That would be five kids in each row. Five times four is 20. Miss Lane made a drawing. She said, hooray, another array. I will stand back to see how you will look to your families. The whole class got into place and practiced taking bows. It's easy to count you all, but I can't see the children in the back rows, Miss Lane said. Now the children were starting to worry. The play was just a couple of days away. They still had not practiced for it, and they didn't know how they would, how they would bow. Nothing is working, they said. I will figure out something by the night of the play, said Mrs. Lane. The night of the play arrived. The children quickly decided with Miss Lane that what they would do for the play. But Miss Lane still didn't know how they were going to line up for their bows. Then the curtain opened. The play was odd. It lasted only a few minutes. Miss Lane turned on some music. Some children danced. Some sang. Some turned cartwheels. The class had spent most of the time planning their bows. They had spent no time planning for the play. When the music stopped, the children began to run off stage. The bright spotlight followed them. There was a long pause. Then the audience started clapping wildly. The children waited off stage, whispering to one another. The audience wants us to come out, back out, one child said. Which array will Miss Lane choose for us? They asked one another. Miss Lane was standing on the stage. She was smiling at the parents and clapping loudly along with them. What is she waiting for? The children asked one another. Mrs. Lane walked off the stage towards her students. She said, children, gather around. I have made a decision. I have a wonderful plan. All of the children leaned forward. They listened carefully to what Miss Lane said. Then they ran onto stage. Which array did Miss Lane choose? Miss hmm. Lane took the microphone. Family, friends, she called out. Let's thank our young stars once again. 20 stars, one long row of 20 lovely stars. One times 20 is 20. Miss Lane continued. You don't have to count them. They're all there. Can you see them all? Yes, you can. Each and every one. Parents clapped. The whole crowd stood up. They shouted and cheered as the children took their bows. The 20 children bowed again and again. 20 children, one row, all together. The best array of all for, I'm sorry, the best array of all for taking bows. The children asked Miss Lane to stand on the stage with them. They gave her flowers. They clapped for her. They said that she was the best bowing director they ever had. Hooray, arrays. I hope you love this reading. I enjoyed reading it. I made a couple mistakes, but that's the joy of reading. Just go back and repeat. Um, this is Ms. Vetta, and I hope you love the book, Hooray Arrays. I know my kids did when I read it to them the first time. See you later, guys.